Holy crap. All right. Hold on. We're going to get in the pickup right here. It is very, very, very cold outside. I almost froze to death out there. It should not be this cold. It's already November, but hey, we're going to get some work done, guys. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode here with Midwest Ag. So, you guys remember from the previous episodes in this series, we started with nothing but a truck, and now we are going to be able to afford that tractor in this episode. We got some bales to load, we got some bales to sell, we got a lot of work ahead of us, so with that being said, guys, hey, let's get after it. Alright guys, so we're in the shop here. Uh, I got a little welding to do, because we were trying to move some bales uh, the other day. We had ourselves a little bit of an incident. So I'm going to try to get some welding done. Got to weld the ear onto that bale fork there. And we're going to get that done. Let's see, get this gas turned on. See if I remember how to set this to the right settings. Alright, that should be good enough. Alright, let's get welding. Alright, so we got everything all welded up. Uh, we're going to get this on to the tractor here, and we're going to go back out and start moving some more bales. Alright, we're going to get these pins all locked in. Alright, well we got the got the bale forks on, got the pins all on, so we're going to go back out and start moving our bales back. Get them all put in their, uh, put it, get them all put in groups. That way all we got to do is just load them up from the groups, put them on the trailer, and get them all stored away. Alright, as you can see we got one group right up there. And we got another one over there on the other side of the field, kind of just like grouping them up, kind of based off in the area where they're at. So like those two bells over there, I think we'll just start a group over there. Um, we were not able to move two bells before because the other one it broke when we tried doing it. But now that we're all welded up, I mean, welds don't break in the same spot, or the metal don't break in the same spot where it's welded at. It'll break somewhere else. So we're gonna see see what we could do. What happens? So far, so good. Nothing bad yet. Get turned around. It's a little heavy on the heavy on the front. Don't want to turn too well. I have to get a uh, get some weights on the back of this thing. Ah, there we go. Oh crap! Whoa! We're definitely all right. Well, now we're in a real another predicament. Dude, we can get this back down safely. Okay, we're gonna get these bales put back, and I gotta get something on the back of this to prevent us from tipping. Alright, so the idea was we're brewing, and we went and got the spikes for the back. So, what we're gonna be trying to do is first, I wanna see if we can stick two on here. I don't know how, how possible it's gonna be to do this, but we're gonna try it out for, uh, try it out first. See if we can get two on here at the same time. Down a little bit lower, about right there. Nah, that's that's not gonna work. All right, well, we'll just do one at a time then. Kind of wanted to do two, maybe make this go by a little bit faster, but we're gonna have to do just one for right now. No big deal. Still adds weight to the back, so it's not a problem. We're able to get, hopefully, try to get some bales moved for two at a time. See what happens when I get these two picked up. So far, so good. Not tipping or nothing. Those are bouncing around pretty heavily, though. I just gotta slow it down in the fields. Fields are too rough. And there we go. Got those successfully put over. I think we'll just keep this one on the back and keep it as a counterweight for right now. All right. So what we've been doing is uh, been doing five rows of three. Because the trailer that the farmers got, I don't, I don't think it'll fit six rows. But we also, or it won't be able to fit six rows because we'll do five, two rows down on the bottom. And we'll try to do one row up on top. Yeah, well, those fit up there. But for right now, we'll just do five, five rows of three, so 15 bales per load. See how well that goes. All right, these are our excess bales out of this field. Uh, just gonna get them set over here on the. On this side, 
We don't got like a exact group for them. Set them all here out of the way. The rest of the groups are. I think we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine. We got an odd number too, which is kind of weird. We got nine bales. Leave those here, and we're gonna go get the bale trailer. Get it hooked up to my pickup. And then just start loading bales on it and get them all strapped down. And we'll transport them over to the hay shed. This is what I was talking about. So, it's only a small little trailer. That's all I had. I was hoping he had something a little bit bigger so we can get more bales transported at a, one time. But, thinking we just do two rows and then one across the top. I think we'll be able to get about 15-ish 15, 15 bales out at a time. But we're going to see, see what happens when we get that on. Woohoo! What the heck? Put that down. Ah, the spikes went through. I must have grabbed four by accident. All right, first set of bales going onto the trailer. Go side all the way. Pop out, make sure we're all the way over. Oh yeah, that right there's perfect. Wonderful. All right. Well, let's get the rest of these put on. This may not be perfect by like any means. I've seen some really sketchy stuff before. Like I've seen people where they got two bales on the front, two bales on the back, trying to load these. And we're just not trying to tip over because we're on a, a side hill. So like note to self is don't load onto a side hill. All right, well, so uh, I just had a severe lack of misjudgment, but that's all right. Because we ended up just putting the uh, extra bale in the back of the pickup. So what you see here is going to be how we, uh, how we transport them from here on out, which I mean, First load, I mean, not looking too bad. Bales are pretty even. Everything looks pretty good. Things all strapped down. Yeah, that's not going nowhere. Plus, we, all we gotta do is just go up there to the that bale shed up there. So we're gonna get all these dropped off and keep working. All right, guys, as we're still working here, um, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Keep on supporting the channel. More videos soon to come. All right, so we got the truck over here. Now I gotta walk back, but. We got to get all these bales paired up, get them loaded up on the trailer, and the same thing with the other field, so we're going to get all that going. Alright, well, we got our trusted counterweight on here. Um, starting to learn that moving bales takes a lot of man hours, so we're just going to cut and fast forward into this. Get some nice drone coverage going for you guys. Really reminds me like a long time ago when I was doing bales before and like it was dark I remember driving around in like circles because I was barely able to see setting bales up or anything I was just running around with a, a single bale spike on front of a like an old case loader I remember it was, it was like 2 a.m. when I was doing this and this is a lot easier this is daylight there's only like 50 bales versus when I was doing like 230, 240 per field.
All right, so we just got paid by the farmer. Just gave us uh, 5,500 bucks for all the work we did and getting all his bales stored away. Ended up giving him over 370 bales out of all these fields, got them all stored away. And uh, we got ourselves a nice trailer load left of them. Uh, I'm gonna go get those sold and then we're gonna get this, uh, this tractor bought from him. All right, so this is what we had left out of, out of all the fields. All the bales that were left, we got two, four, six, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 total bales. Now what you're thinking, this this load kind of looks uh pretty pretty rough. I mean, it's loaded nice, but one wrong turn, I think we might just tip over. So I might be getting some uh, funny looks as we roll in to the co-op and get these bales sold. But yeah, I'm, I'm a, a one-trip kind of guy, what can I say? But we're going to go get these all sold. Oh, there we go. Like I say on the road here. We got all our bales sold. Got $18,000 for all 18 bales. So about 1000 bucks per bale. Paid per ton. And we were running about 2 ton bales. Pretty pretty heavy bales. Heavy load for this truck. But we got everything sold. So we're going to head back to the farm. Alright gents. Well. We just got done buying the tractor. We got it for eighteen five, eighteen thousand five hundred dollars $18,500. Which is pretty modest, pretty modest amount. And now we gotta work on getting ourselves a baler. Grass is growing in our field uh, that we own, so we need to get our baler bought. We're gonna try to see if we can maybe get that hay buying off of them too. But right now, thank you all for watching. If really like the video, please like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and then if you guys want to see more content, click up on the top right corner be another video that I think you'll find interesting, but hey, be sure to check us out in the next episode.